Hello. So glad uh, you can make it. We're going to start pretty promptly. We're going to wait a couple minutes here just so we can make sure everybody that has a ch that you know is coming on has a chance to get on. Uh, my my name is Doug Supan, Vice President of RX One Shop, and we just really enjoy doing these educational webinars for our members and friends. We will continue to do these. We want to help you as much as possible, and we appreciate you coming aboard here. Um, so let's just wait a couple more moments. I want to make sure that everybody who did uh, register gets a chance to get on before um, we go into it, because I want to make sure that they're able to see what we're doing. I also will uh, introduce to you our one of our speakers as well very very soon. So has, has anybody that's out there, have you used RX One Shop or heard of RX One Shop before this? If uh, you want to go ahead and use the um, notes on the side and you can say yes or no if you've used RX One Shop or if you've heard of us or you visited our website. <clears throat> All right, I think we'll uh, we'll get started. Um, RX One Shop, we have been around for over 10 years now. I'm, I'm going to go into it a little bit, and then I will introduce you to uh, Tony in a, mi in a minute. But we actually help hundreds of pharmacies across the country. We do so by taking the buying power from all the pharmacies as a whole, going up against about 13 different distributors for you, negotiating the best possible prices and bringing it back to you. Uh, the good news is we have huge buying power. Well, we do about four to six million dollars a month in business, which is really good buying power, bigger than your pharmacy would would be. So we use that to negotiate really good pricing and pass it on to you as you were a big, big pharmacy. Uh, so that way you get that type of pricing. So that's what we do. Uh, we are actually bringing aboard a lot of new products for pharmacies. We want it to be a one stop shop at RX One Shop. That's what we want. We want it so it makes life easier. And it saves the pharmacies not only money, but also time. Time is huge. We understand how you work. You work your butts off. I have a lot of friends and family members within the industry that are pharmacists. And we pick we pick their brain every day. And that's how we, we try to run ours one shop. We want to save you time. Come to our website, find it all. That's, that's the goal. So it's not just brand, generic. We now have a diabetes section. So we do have test strips. We're going to be bringing front-end merchandise. Uh, shortly. We're working on that. Um, also, we're going to also have medical equipment. So we are expanding pretty big and we're growing fast. So the bigger we get, the faster we grow, the more buying power we're going to have to get you even better pricing on the things that you're needing to help your pharmacy grow. Again, we want, we want, we want you to thrive in this market. So thrive and survive is what we're looking for. We want you to beat the big boys and we want to keep the mom and pop pharmacies alive, and that's what our, our job and goal is. So we will be doing more of these webinars as well. We have uh, three more coming up after this one. So definitely look, actually two more after this one. We will, we, we hope they're definitely helping you. Um, I'm going to actually turn it over shortly to Tony DeRico. I actually met Tony at the NCPA in Florida this year. And we seem to have similar values. We're trying to help pharmacies and help you grow and be obviously profitable. Um, it's not just about growing, but you also want to be profitable. So what I'm going to do is introduce you over to Tony DeRico. Tony will actually go into how to hire properly. Um, he helped us. He helped us quite a bit as well. We've all done it. We've all hired that person. Thought we had the best person, the right person for the job. And then we spend all the money to get them hired, get them in, and then we find they're not the right person. And that's not only wasting money by hiring, but it's also wasting our time. And that time is money. So uh, this webinar is one of the one of the webinars, educational webinars in the series that we're doing. And I'm going to introduce you and turn it over to Tony DeRico. So thanks, Doug. Appreciate it. No problem, sir. And you have a good uh, rest of your day. And I'll see you at the end. By the way, before you go, let me let me let me share something with you. Sure. I I spent uh, 30 minutes with a client of yours, Skyline Pharmacy out of Alexandria, Virginia. Yes, sir. And he absolutely raved about you guys making him a lot of money. Excellent. A, that's, that's good to hear. That's why you're here. A fairly new pharmacist. Sounds like he just he said I think he worked with CVS for 15 years and got tired of the uh, rat race of being bossed around <laughs> and decided he's going to be his own boss and. He, he really credit you guys for making the money. That's so awesome. Like to to know that. That's why we're here. 
and we appreciate that. Thank you, Scott. See you later, Doug. All right, everybody. Well, we appreciate you showing up today. What what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about hiring and developing the very best employees in your organization. And we're going to have some slides that are going to go with it in just a second. But one of the biggest challenge is in any business is how do you hire and manage people? Uh, as a pharmacist, you went to pharmacology school, and I doubt that you took a class on how to interview, how to hire, how to discipline employees. And as a matter of fact, I was reading an article uh, in Forbes magazine. It was written by Dan Schwab, I believe is his name. And the, the, the question was, why do so many people fail within the first 18 months of taking a job? They track 20,000 new hires. 46 of them failed within 18 months. Bottom line, it came out to 89% failed because of their attitudinal reasons. Only 11% because of their skill set. So what's critical in success is attitude. And if you look at the, the uh, slide here, if you had a choice of three people and you could hire the young lady who's there diligently working or the person that is going to two-face, they're going to say, yes, boss, or whatever, or do whatever you need, or the guy is saying, you know, boy, I'm going to watch that clock and I'm going to take my patient. Pick one. Which one would you hire? All right. We're going to move on to another slide, I think. So what does a bad hire cost you? Here is some statistics. When a bad hire by the numbers, the average settlement for a negligent hiring case is $1 million. That number blew me away. A verdict when it goes to court, a single verdict, I should say, negligent hiring case, was $40 million. That was one single case. 79% of negligent hiring cases lost by the employer. That means if you get sued for being negligent in hiring, 79% of the time, you're going to lose, right? And then what's it cost you? A salary employee, anywhere from seven to 20000 Now, part of the trick is hiring is, a, is running the proper ad. And what I did in the old days, I spent 35 years in the hotel business. And I used to be a senior level executive with Choice Hotels in the Washington, D.C. area. We compare, competed against a company called Marriott. You probably never heard of Marriott, right? Yeah, you did. Everybody wanted to work for Marriott. So we had to be smarter and we had to work harder in attracting people. They just didn't come to us naturally. So we developed ways to, like we went fishing. So does your help wanted ad look like this one? This one happens to be a client of ours who happens to be a pharmacy owner. And he asked me, or she, I should say, asked me for help, said, what do you think about it, my, my ad? I said, well, you want the truth? She said, yeah. I said, it stinks. And then we helped her draft a new one. Here's what I did for them, right? And as you'll notice, all of a sudden, at the top, right? And I did not tell them how much to charge. says, certified pharmacy technician, $17 an hour. <clears throat> I suspect that will attract people better than saying, hey, we want you to make sure you, you, you uh, bring your reference checks. And I'm just going to read the very first paragraph because it may not be too easy to read. So Joseph Pharmacy is looking for happy, productive, full-time certified pharmacy technician team members who are looking for flexible hours, starting wages up to $17 an hour, bonus potential, growth opportunity, benefits including paid up to 75% of individual medical, dental, and vision premiums, paid 10 days vacation, plus six day holidays, 401k offered, we match up to 4% after one year of continuous service, closed on Sundays, like Chicka Fella, great place to work. None of that was in that first ad the way it's presented here. Wouldn't that work better for you? 
take it and use it, right? And we would, I'd be glad to help you if you needed assistance in developing ads. We are gonna be coming out with this year, if not the first part next year, with a A to Z, how to hire and develop people. So let me share with you a few of my clients. Uh, they've been around for seven years, going back to Steve Hoffman in Houston, Michael Palmer, and as I like to say, Chittacaca. He's got five stores in Don Grove in Warsaw, Missouri. By the way, bookend, Steve and Don both have one store and both of them gross over $7 million. And when, when Don became a client, within the first couple of months, he calls me up and says, Tony, you saved me $50,000. I said, good, what I do? He said, well, you know, I told you that I was going to uh, use your assessment, but I, I knew this pharmacist and I was just gonna hire. I said, no, I committed to doing it. He said, I had them take the assessment. And oh my God, I didn't hire him because it was a disaster. And I probably would have had to let him go after three to six months. So you saved me 60, 50,000. I said, you're welcome. All right. Equally, you know, when Steve came on as a client and I've been in the industry for a period of time working with pharmacies, I said, Steve, what are the five things that you want to improve in your pharmacy? I bet you all you can, can relate to number one. You want to increase your sales and increase your profits. So that's simple. The number two actually surprised me. He said, Tony, I want personal free time. I've got two children. At that time, I think they were 12 and 13. He just sent them off to college. And I don't want to be a slave to my business anymore. He said, we opened at seven. I had to be there at six in the morning. We closed it. I forget what time it was at the time. Seven, eight, nine, whatever. He said, I was there 24 seven because I didn't trust I had the right people to manage the business. Today, Steve doesn't do that anymore. He comes in at a reasonable hour. He takes time off. Heck, he went to the uh, World Series, the Houston one. He even posted it on Facebook. So he now, he's managing the business. The business isn't managing him, right? And he wanna reduce the hassle of just running. He wanted customer satisfaction and, and to maximize the performance of his assets his employees, the market, and so forth. Very happy man. So what does the problem with hiring the wrong person create? Typically, it's that no matter the amount of fancy management or you know, stroking or hitting them with a stick, it, it's not going to bail you out. You know, Bill Belichick, who, uh, you know, it's football season. You know, the New England Patriots have a pretty good quarterback and a pretty good record. So when he speaks, I'd listen. So a bad hire can be burning money for you. And by the way, look at that picture with the football on the left. There you got the best quarterback to ever play. You know, arguably some people might argue that, but he's being coached in a game. Are you coaching your players every day how to be the best at your store? Something to think about. Now, talk to you a little bit about the behavioral assessment. Winslow Research is the company that's developed our program. It started in 1968. This is a history. It started as an athletic company. It was used by NHL, NFL, NBA. Probably the most notable event was, if you ever saw the movie Miracle on Ice, about the 1980 U.S. hockey team that the collegian kids beat and won the goal, but they didn't beat the Russians in the final game. That was actually a semifinal, uh, but that's where all the, the publicity comes from. And they used the Winslow Athletic Assessment, and that was the, the forerunner to the Winslow Behavioral Assessment we use in the business world. And Dennis Waitley is our key author. He was a psychologist who worked with that team and other teams. And it's used by a number of uh, big-time authors in their coaching programs. So what our assessment does, it's 300 questions, takes about 45 minutes to take, and we deliver 24 personality traits, and we'll be providing you a little demo in a second, uh, give you more detail, but it's used for hiring and developing employees. So the first question, another question I should say, do you have a talent acquisition plan, right? Which is, rather than simply saying, well, when we have a, an opening, we'll figure it out, or we'll go apply, you know, post the job, is you should have a plan. 
right? And it should be a continual plan. For example, one of the suggestions I make, and this is a freebie, take this with you. How much, if you got, say you got 10 employees, does every single one of your employees have a business card? If you don't mind, in the chat box, note down, yes, they do, or no, they don't, right? I would guarantee you that 90% of the pharmacies out there, they don't give all their employees a business card. For a lousy $10 a year, you will increase the self-esteem of your employees. Keep in mind, they got family and friends. Hell, they'll bring you business. More importantly, when you or anyone, your staff member, gets excellent service, whether it be at a McDonald's or Ruth Chris or Target or Nordstrom's, wherever you get, you say something to the fact that, John or Sue, I just want to thank you. You do a marvelous job. I am Tony DeRico. I own, you know, Chittacaca Pharmacy down the street. And I know the birds of a feather flock together. And I suspect you got friends that are as ambitious and as friendly, as nice as you are. If any of them are ever looking for a job, I'm always looking for eagles. Here's my card. Have them see me. And I'd love to talk to people like you. Now, what did you just do? Obviously, you made somebody's day. More importantly, that person does have friends and family. And equally important, they may say, you know what? I don't like it here at Macy's anymore. They're treating me like dirt. And I'm going to go interview or apply for your job. And I'll tell you that even if you don't have a job available, take the time to interview them and put them on a list of who you would hire when you do have a job. All right? So that's number one. And the other thing is how do you develop a Super Bowl winning team? You've got to hire the right people. You've got to train the right people. And you've got to constantly give them positive reinforcement feedback. And equally, you've got to give them negative feedback or corrective feedback when they're doing something wrong. Too many organizations say, well, I'll let it go this time. Well, I'll let it go this time. The problem is you either have standards or you don't. If you're going to have a business, you should operate with standards and hold yourself and everybody accountable. All right. Next, what we're going to do is going to give you just a brief. It's going to be about seven or eight minutes. We'll go through a quick demo to show you how the assessment we use for hiring. Okay, now we're going to show you a demonstration how the Winslow Assessment System works. On your screen, you should see the dashboard in the middle, say activated profile password. And each of you that will purchase our assessments today or during the purchase period, we will create a dashboard like this for you. You get an email from us with instructions on how to log into your system. And you'll notice in the upper left hand corner, there'll be the name of your company. And we will also provide you training for yourself and or your administrators. So now let's show you how the system works. Now, most of the clients that come to us, they typically come wanting to hire better people. And then they also want to improve their existing employees. So think of this as an employment funnel. You run an ad for, say, a pharmacist. You get hundreds, if not thousands, of applicants from all around the world. You want to get those people down to two final applicants you consider hiring. Do your drug testing, your background checks, anything you do to assess whether or not you would consider hiring them or the fact that you would offer them a job. Then have those two people take our assessment. Now, the assessment navigation bars are on the left-hand side. Once they take the assessment, and the assessment itself is 300 questions, takes about 45 minutes to an hour. Again, we will teach you all of that as you teach you how to use the service. But the easiest part is simply you, you create a password for each candidate. They go online, they take the assessment, and then the results are in your database. So for example, let's say that the first candidate you consider is Dina Darwin. I click on her name. You'll notice on the left-hand side, the green bars open up. There are actually four reports associated with each assessment. But for hiring practices, we're going to look at the executive report and click on that. It's going to open up the 24 personality traits that are being measured. And this scale, a 1 to 10, 9, 10 is what's considered a high score, 1, 2 is a low score, 5, 6 is average, 7, 8 above, 3, 4 below. 
So the way this works, for example, under sociability, the first trait in the upper left-hand corner, we're saying compared to a North American culture, which is the database that's being compared to, it's saying this person will be in the top 10 to 20 percentile as far as sociability. These are the raw personality characteristics. So these are the kind of things you'd want to know about an applicant. For example, conscientiousness. Will they put the interest of the pharmacy or your business ahead of their own? Will they, are they ambitious? Are they people that want to be, you know, very competitive in the marketplace, people that want to exceed their goals? Very important. Are they coachable? Will they listen to you, respect the direction you give them? Self-confidence. Number one trait in any career venture is self-confidence. Do they feel they can do the job? Do you want smiley, happy people, or do you want grumpy people? Contentment measures their degree of contentment and happiness. So, in other areas. Now what we do is we put on top of that the position for the job, which we call position compatibility success profile. For example, let's say that you're looking at this store manager of your pharmacy. I'm going to click on store manager. We now bring up the profile for that store manager. Now, these we've built through the last you know, eight to 10 years we've worked in the pharmacy industry. And the way this is designed is dark green is what's known as desirable. And I scroll down here, you'll see it. So if I was building the ideal million dollar pharmacist, I'd want them to land in dark green wherever possible. Now what the system does is going to score each one of the characteristics. So if they land in a desirable score, they get a plus four. It goes down to plus two for favorable. They get a zero for neutral, minus two for cautions, and a five for concerns. And then what our system does, it provides you a one-page scoreboard. So the first thing you'd look at is the net score. In this case, it's a plus 41. And what that is, that's a top 24 characteristics and the score on each one of those characteristics. And you're now going to say, okay, well, what does that mean? I'm going to scroll back up. And you'll notice in the report itself, it describes what does a score mean. So when a person scores between a 0 and 15, that would say they're going to be an average performer. Now, we don't know if they went to college, if they got their, their pharmacology degree. What we can tell you is, assuming they have the skill set, which that you've determined, if you're going to give them a job, will their personality allow them to succeed in the job? So 0 to 15, they're going to be average. 16 to 35 is a notice above average. 36 and higher. The higher the score, the more exceptional they'll perform. So in this case, a plus 41 would indicate that they should be no so above average. They should be exceptional. Now, the other thing I want to point out, do you see where it says objectivity 28 out of 30? This is a validity score where we are the only assessment company in the world that I know of and Winslow Research knows of. We have control questions to determine if a person is telling the truth or if they are trying to fake their responses or trying to exaggerate, it can determine if the results are valid. If they're not valid, that score would, and you never see the score, but it would be 22 or less. And what our system would do, I'm going to click on completed profiles, and I'm going to show you another. What the system would do if a person is what we call positive bias, which means that the results are not reliable. We pop up a message on the screen and it says something to the effect of welcome to the 30% club because that occurs 30% of the time across all assessments. However, we are the only one that aggressively deal with. And then we say you've either exaggerated your strengths or underreported your weaknesses, therefore your assessment's invalid. And the system will then have them retake the assessment. There's no cost for retakes and tell them they need to answer the questions as they truly are today, not the way they used to be, not the way they wanted. So they may be able to sit in front of you and fake it, but our system can catch the fakers, and we will either have them retake the assessment, and we'll give you the, a real true score. So let's assume that Richard Lee is applying for the same job as store manager. Put on the same job. You see the same color codes. I come down here. It scores it the same. And down at the bottom, you'll notice there's some flashing red, and the participant scores in yellow, which is a cautionary minus nine. And what that means is the probability of him being successful are little to none. So now here's your choice. Do I hire Dina, who's a plus 41, or do I hire Richard, who's a minus nine? 
Now keep in mind, we said these are the final two candidates that you would consider hiring. In this case, no question. Every day I would hire Dina over Richard. And that's how you discern the better applicant. Now, you might have been leaning toward Richard. Could be, gosh, Richard's learned how to interview well. He may be taking all those courses you can find on the internet, for that matter, on LinkedIn. And uh, I like to call them how to lie to your future employer. So let's say that we now are going to make Dina the job offer. So now what do we help you with? I'm going to click on participants report. So the first week on the job, the first day on the job, you should give Dina her report. Her report in this case would be 40 pages. And this is all built in the system. All these 12, eight sections are hyperlinked. And I would print out her report. And I'm going to click on personal development. And within the report itself, and in this case on page 35, it tells her how to use her report to make sure she's using her strengths, to make sure she's going to be the best store manager you've ever had, and how to deal with the weaknesses to mitigate those concerns. So to recap, what we do, we provide you a dashboard. We will show you and train you how to use it. You'll then use it for hiring purposes. You'll get your final two applicants to take the assessment. They both answer the exact same 300 questions. You compare the exact same job model, and then you hire the very best applicant. And this will reduce your turnover. It'll increase your productivity. Bottom line, it will increase your profitability. So that was a brief demo on how our system works. And now let me share with you the special offer we're making for all RX1, RX1 shop clients. And for that matter, friends. You may not be using their service today. So here's what we're offering. We're going to provide you two free Winslow Dynamic profiles. That's kind of like a trial package. And then we provide you the website. It's all done through the cloud. And then we'll provide you another additional three assessments. By the way, most clients, the way our service is used is if they're going to hire an applicant, you want to have two viable applicants you make an offer to, have them both take the assessment. Then additionally, I will provide you two what we call debriefings that consider an hour that will go over the assessments, enter, answer any questions you have. And additionally, we'll provide what we call administrative training. It's kind of like Microsoft Office. You can take it and you can use it yourself. But if you took an hour training, hour and a half, you'll be experts. That is going to run you, if, if outside of this offer, $1,690, just under $1,700. So for the next 72 hours, we're going to give you a 65% discount, and you can buy that for $595. All right? So now you should have actually had in your a window opened up on your computer whereby you can go ahead and execute your, your first order, and you can buy the package. As I said, $595. You get five assessments. That's about $100 each. And typically they run, if you buy them one at a time, $199. So it's so at least a 50% savings there. And for additionally, you can buy extra assessments. They are $139. Again, you do have, we do provide price breaks, but that's about a 30% saving. Uh, me personally, I'm getting 1% of my cash in the bank. If you're getting 30%, keep it in the bank. Otherwise, you might want to consider buying the necessary assessments for not only for hiring, but Typical client will use an assessment for all their employees, kind of like send them all to the doctor, get a blood test. Now, so while you're doing that, let me tell you about the next two educational seminars that are coming up. And the next one is going to be Marriage Bell, and she's going to talk to you about how to get a return on your investment in your people. And what we're talking about is emotional based training and her program, which is 64 on e learning modules. We have mapped to the Winslow 24 assessments. So, for example, if someone is low in, say, self-confidence, there's about 15 items to train them to be more confident. And then on December 12th, we're going to have my old friend, and he is old, let me tell you, Don Farrell. And he is a master in sales training, and customer service training. And he's guaranteed you $200,000 in new sales in one year. That one, take the money and run. Right? Go with that one. Register for both of them. Register for all of them. And then as an initial, another item that I'd like to mention to you, we are holding a 
boot camp in Warsaw, Missouri on January 18th and 19th. And this is one of our clients, Don Grove, who is a genius in the pharmacy industry, like all of you are. And he's re-engineered the inside of a pharmacy. So it's going to be in his pharmacy. He built it. I think he paid three and a half million. He's got a conference room that holds 50 pharmacy owners. So you want to get in quick because that will fill up quickly. And for that, you, there's a dinner involved that's being hosted by Waypoint. Some of you may know Waypoint. Matter of fact, Doug and Dan are hosting the, the lunch. They're going to buy you lunch. Hell, I'd go just for that, right? And then uh, Don Grow is going to give you 10 money-making ideas. You add the 10 of his with, you know, with Don Farrell's 200000 you're probably going to get three-quarters of a million dollar increase in sales. And this, so you, there's about $3,000 of products that we're going to be given for free. And you're also going to be in a raffle to get a one day, which is valued at $10,000 in Palm Beach with, with Tom Feltenstein. He's a marketing genius. He was part of McDonald's. He uh, helped create the Happy Meal and the Ronald McDonald House. Those are iconic. And he's going to speak for about an hour, hour and a half. So the cost of this is only $4.95. And because you know me and I'm a nice guy, use my name as a discount code, Tony D, right? They used to call me that as small, Tony D, and you get $100 off. So the total cost to you is going to be $395. All you got to do is go to bizleadership.co, right? Bizleadership.co. It's all there. The agenda's there. Feel free to, to sign up and we'll see you there. So last thing, go ahead and make your purchase. And also, as we said, this is gonna be available for 72 hours and you'll be getting a follow-up email along with the links to register for the next webinars. <clears throat> and feel free to share that with all of your pharmacy friends and owners. We're glad to have everybody you know, be part of our ex shop. It's like uh, Ahmed said, he's only been a pharmacist, his own pharmacy for three or four months, that uh, Dan and Doug are making him a ton of money. And uh, you probably wouldn't mind making a ton of money. Right, Doug? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Take time off. We, could you hear me okay? I hear you perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much for everyone that showed up to this educational webinar. We definitely really appreciate it here at Eric's One Shop. I also wanted to keep you in the mind. We're very passionate on what we do. This is not something that we do as just a job. We do it because we really sincerely want to help the pharmacies out. Um, we want them to beat the, you know, the bigger ones and, and basically keep afloat and then obviously survive and thrive. So again, we're going to be hosting more of these. Anything that we can do at Eric's One Shop to help you even better, let us know. Check out our website at www.rxoneshop.com. And any questions that you have or anything you need from us, let us know. We will do it. Thank you so uh, much, well, Tony. I appreciate you know, you know. We are not Mickey Mousing around in this place. Doug is a <laughs> good night. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. Have a good one.